Chevy Silverado is a real pretty truck. But it's not just a real pretty truck. Get a real truck. Get a Chevy Silverado. Visit jackburford.com 24-7 and be sure to subscribe to the Jack Burford Chevrolet YouTube channel. From the studios of WBONTV.com, I'm Marissa Hempel in this your afternoon news brief. The case is set to the grand jury in the bond heightened for the man accused of providing methamphetamine to a woman that died recently in Berea. Rodney Elam is accused of providing the drug to 18-year-old Sarah Boykin of Waco. She was found unresponsive in the men's bathroom at the Berea McDonald's and was later pronounced dead at St. Joseph Hospital in Lexington. In the hearing, Elam's defense attorney argued there is no allegation that he forced Boykin to use the methamphetamine. However, the judge residing was concerned with the fact that she was left incapacitated in the for the better part of an hour in the McDonald's bathroom before he called the authorities. Judge Neal also increased Elam's bond to $100,000, considering Boykin had passed away since the bond was first set. A man from Madison County has been died on almost 30 counts of sex crimes after he was arrested by investigators with Attorney General Andy Bashir's Cyber Crimes Unit. 26-year-old Dylan Minch was indicted on 20 counts of possession of child pornography, as well as first-degree sexual abuse and more charges of use of a minor under 16 years old in a sex performance. When a search warrant was executed at Minch's residence, multiple devices were found with evidence of child pornography. When forensic evidence was presented to the grand jury after the initial charges, Minch was seen engaging in acts that warranted further counts. He is currently in the Madison County Detention Center on a $50,000 bond. When one or two doors close, two more tend to open, as the saying goes. This is true for Richmond's downtown area, where the Jimmy John's sandwich chain location closed its doors for good on Main Street within the past few days. Crews are now working to clear the area, and WBONV spoke to local business owner of Leeds Fine Jewelry, John Leeds, who says that although his business has been doing well for nearly three decades, he has seen a lot of changes downtown, including the imminent closing of the art gallery on the corner within the coming weeks. However, city manager for Richmond, Rob Meinrich also commented that although these two businesses are closing, a new burger place is opening across from City Hall and the new Tila Sandwich Shop has been successful in its first week since the ribbon cutting last Friday on 2nd Street. Watch the video to get more details up tonight on WBONTV.com. Today at the Perkins Building on EKU's campus, the business at noon luncheon hosted representatives from Frankfurt to give us the legislative update from the Capitol. Although it is a short session, there are still many priorities for those that are representing Madison County and Frankfurt. We spoke to representatives Deanna Frazier as well as Robert Goforth, who is also seeking the Republican nomination for governor against incumbent Matt Bevin. Watch their interviews up now. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hample.